Morning, everybody. Beautiful day today. It's uh, Tuesday. Well, I guess I forgot my phone. It's Tuesday, day after Memorial Day. So, hope everyone had a good day yesterday. And uh, just like to thank all of our people that died for our country and made it the country that it is today. Slowly changing, but. Hopefully we'll get back on track here one of these days. Um, heading over Canard Farm right now, feed the horses, and then uh, we're gonna run over and we're gonna check the corn after corn, do a drive by the fields over here at the Mango Farm, and then we're gonna go home and do some things. Don't know for sure what all we're gonna get into today. Got a few things we need to do, because tomorrow morning I gotta go get a chemo treatment and then I'll feel like crap for a couple days after that so we're working on the medicine getting the medicine the way it's supposed to be to keep me from being nauseous I guess that's what they call it but uh, we're getting it figured out this is going to be my third treatment that we've done and treatments are every two weeks so the first treatment wasn't good the second treatment wasn't as bad as the first and then Tomorrow, I think we're gonna, I think we'll be all right. We're getting the medicine figured out, my nausea medicine. So we're gonna get that stuff figured out and get through it. Pretty sure the chemo is working um, from a spot that I had on my abdomen wall. It's kind of going away some, so pretty sure things are happening the way it's supposed to with it. So very happy about that. and the way it is so but we're gonna get the feeding done and we'll get you back here in just a little bit as we figure out something that's going on this door opens hard Keep the feed in metal trash cans. Keep the mice from getting in it. We've done this for years. We've probably got 20 of these metal trash cans around in different places. Come on, horses. Hi, Bobby. I showed feeding the dogs and the cats. Someone said that I needed to call a vet and have them come look at the little black cat because it was having trouble with its foot. That one right there. It's not having trouble with its foot. It doesn't have a foot. So I'll show you when I get out, get out here. Come on. Come on. All right, neighbor stopped in, so I didn't get to show you what the kitty looked like when it was eating, but here's the black kitty right here. Oh, we got Bubby right here too. How's Bubby doing, huh? You doing fine? Yeah. I had comments that I needed to call the vet on this cat because of the way it was walking.
See the foot right here? It doesn't have a foot. That's the reason it was limping around the other day when I had showed it. But uh, got caught in a leg trap and uh, Corky wanted to call the vet on it. And it's a barn cat for you. City people, you don't understand. These cats and dogs, really, they can take care of themselves out here. And um, we didn't call the vet on this cat. And the rest of its leg came off. It healed up. And it's a good hunter now for us. It does a lot of hunting. And we'll see it up in the rafters here in the barn lots of times. But uh, we also have new baby kitties. And I was over here yesterday feeding and we're, there was more made. So, all right, I'm gonna feed hay and then we're finished here. All right, I guess we're finished here. I said in my last video there that uh, I was hoping to go find a new tool. And we went and we looked at one and we took the trailer along with us because I had an idea, I had it in my mind that I was probably gonna buy it if it was something that I really liked. And it is. So what I did is I bought something that I could lift things with a little bit easier in the shop. So if you look here on the trailer, we kind of have an antique Clark forklift and it seems to run very well. It's probably been painted a half a dozen times probably, but I think it's gonna be just fine. When you turn the key, it starts. So we're gonna get it unloaded here and drive it around in the driveway a little bit. And I don't know how we're gonna get it unloaded. We'll just have to see. It wasn't very easy getting it loaded. I'm glad we didn't have the camera on because well, things got bent and stuff like that. So. All right, let's get it unloaded. There you go. Pedal just fell off.
Okay, so then pull the, pull the trailer. Hey, hey, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, okay? He's going to show you went, what he's going to do. Of course, we went that way. We always go that way. <laughs> Try it again. Try what? Driving it. Uh -huh. on the front porch here got all kinds of flowers around and stuff the ones that are in the wagon i planted those last night they're the nicest looking ones i think but corky planted the majority of the rest of them and they're pretty too so i gotta say that trying to squeak in all right we got a few things in the mail i've had this thing here for a while this basket um had it in the refrigerator because it's perishable but uh this came from uh, jay brooks says, I hope you get feeling better soon, Andy. You're the best, buddy. Jay Brooks. Jay, I really appreciate it. We got a fruit basket here. It's got candy, cookies, all kinds of stuff in it. And uh, he sent this to me, and we've had this for quite a while. But uh, like I say, we're ready to dive into it now. Thanks a lot, Jay. I really appreciate that. Jay's been a, become a pretty good friend of mine here ever since we've been doing this YouTube thing. And... Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Jay. I got something else here. Came from Danny Cooper from Bainbridge, Ohio. Now this was sent, uh, this was received on 429. So we've had this for a little bit here and I don't even know if I can open it. Got some farming action happening across the road here from me right now. And just doing some side dressing and we're getting ready to start side dressing ourselves. We're waiting on the applicator right now. Andy, I watch you all the time. I thought you would enjoy a t-shirt from a store that is in my community. The pizza is awesome also. Enjoy, Dan Cooper. Ooh. Frederick's Mini Mart. Oh, cool, the back of the shirt's awesome. Frederick's Mini Mart. Ultimate pizza bucket list in Ohio. Might have to check it out. I was going to say, we will definitely check that out. Appreciate that a lot, Dan. Thank you very much. Really appreciate the stuff that people send to me. And uh, it's really nice that you guys think of me and stuff like that. I really appreciate it. Jay, really appreciate it, buddy. And uh, Dan, I really appreciate it, too. So. All after all that, we're going to shut her down. And uh, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. 
And uh, don't forget to check out Harmless Farmer if you need some shirts. Kylie's come up with a new shirt. And we're just getting ready to get it starting to print. And uh, it's really going to be pretty cool. So have to check back with that. And like I say, we've got a couple other things that she's just getting ready to order too. So next couple weeks we'll have some new things on the harmlessfarmer.com. So check back frequently and see what else we have on there. And uh, don't forget to check out Kylie's YouTube videos. Uh, she's got some other things coming up. Her and her mom are going away. They're leaving me. Leaving me for the weekend. So I'm going to be all by myself. Probably be at the lake. But that's okay. But uh, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. And uh, I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>